Hello everyone, today I'm going to be teaching you how to use diatomaceous earth to get rid of pests in your home. This is a natural, effective, and inexpensive way to protect your plants from harmful pests. You can buy it from any hardware store, garden stores, and even Amazon. Um, I recommend keeping it on hand as it's the first line of defense against pests in your home. Diatomaceous earth is made from fossilized remains of aquatic animals. These remains create a naturally occurring silica compound that will kill off pests and even though it appears like a flower like dust the silica grinds away at the insect's exoskeleton this slowly dehydrates the pest until it's dead diatomaceous earth is not toxic to humans or pets however there are some precautions you should take such as wearing gloves and wearing a mask and only using food grade diatomaceous earth okay you only want the food grade one um, you should wear the gloves because it does dry out your skin a little bit um, and wearing a mask is important because well you don't really want to be inhaling anything really when applying diatomaceous earth, you're gonna wanna use either a puffer, a turkey baster, a paintbrush, or some kind of flower sifter. Uh, sometimes the products can come with its own puffer, but if it doesn't, that's totally fine. You can use any of the products that I have presented here. Um, you can do a wet application, but I found that when I do the wet application, it doesn't really work. And diatomaceous earth needs to be dry in order for it to work anyway, so you still have to wait for the product to dry out before it actually becomes useful. Alright, I'm going to put my gloves and mask on and show you some of my favorite ways to use diatomaceous earth. So first off, you can take a big brush and brush this by your entryway so that way no bugs get into your home. You can also take a smaller brush and do the same thing on your windowsills and with your potted plant. This is great for fungus gnats, especially in the summertime. Um, the next thing that you can do is basically take a turkey baster or your puffer if your diatomaceous earth comes with it and puff this onto your larger potted plants. Again, this is great for fungus gnats and aphids, just any of those nasty little bugs that get onto your plants. I have a lot of plants in my home and this really helps get rid of them and it actually works. You can use a flower sifter for larger areas such as a garden. The product is super easy to use and apply, but it does get a little bit messy, so keep a dust buster or a mini vacuum on hand and just vacuum it up. Here are some plants that were pretty badly infested with fungus gnats, and you can see that the fungus gnats are totally avoiding the diatomaceous earth altogether. And when they do end up going into the diatomaceous earth, they really seem to be struggling, and that's because they don't build up an immunity to this. This is why this product is a lot better than a lot of harsh chemicals, because pests will build up an immunity to those products, whereas this is just breaking down their exoskeleton. It'll take roughly 24 to 72 hours to really take effect on your pest. And that's everything you need to know about using diatomaceous earth to get pests out of your home and off of your plants. Let us know in the comments if you do end up trying this product. And if you'd like to see any more DIYs or reviews from us, just let us know in the comments as well.